Today, we are here to burn these palms, these palms that we used to celebrate Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. We're going to turn them into ashes so that we may be reminded of our own mortality and our need for God. These moments when we come together and we take this time over Lent to think about what it means that we are ashes and to ashes we will return and dust to dust. These are moments in which we understand with humility some of the things that we often take for granted. The fact that we will not live forever and that we long for the newness that God brings here in this particular world. These palm branches drew life from the soil and from the sun and gave it back into the air and the animals that they hosted and sheltered. We used them almost a year ago to mark our celebration of Jesus and his coming into Jerusalem and his kingdom. And even though we didn't and still don't really understand what the kingdom always looks like, since then, our lives have been messy. We put these ashes on our foreheads at the beginning of Lent. We don't just remember ourselves, reminding ourselves of death and sin. We also remind ourselves how our worship and praise of God can be superficial and unfulfilling. We're taking the leftovers of last year's joyous celebration and quite literally rubbing them in our faces. The imputation of these particular ashes, these ashes that come from these palms, is a tangible metaphor of the weakness of our own spirituality. One moment, our praise is a blaze of glory. The next, it'll be a tiny amount of ash in the bottom of our fire pit. Here's my takeaway from this practice. Praise is not enough to really keep us warm. Our devotion will not provide long-term change for us and our hearts, nor development in our lives. Your own disciplines, your own practices will not make a lasting change on your own heart. That doesn't mean we don't engage in them, it just means we keep them in proper perspective. Whatever questions Lent might raise about the religious disciplines, about the nature of faith, the problem of evil, and about how we can be changed, the ashes that we will impart upon ourselves confirm that the answer is not going to be found within us. As we burn these palms and watch them return to ash, we can recognize that Death is still at work within us, but also that we can find new life and that life in Christ is stronger than death. May we replant our lives in the sure and humble soil of God's truth and grace.